All right, I want to talk a little bit about the patterns that I use for all the castings. Um, there's probably every one of these patterns has at least two castings made from it. So sometimes it seems a little bit silly to make a wooden pattern instead of doing lost foam. But um, I never know if I'm going to make more of these machines or not. But um, having a good pattern is important even if you're only going to use it once but um, some of these I used as many as six times uh, so alright I'll go through all of these one by one this one here is the roller slide that is um, where the bearings mount at angles on these on these surfaces here so um, this is a pattern that was used to make have the ball bearings slide on the uni strut roll I should say rather than why do they call them slides if they roll huh, whatever kind of like the maker slide uses rollers so for the uh, y-axis it's just like this and that's uh, just the idea that I had it's roughly 12 inches long for the x-axis which is a little bit hard to see because it's kind of behind these vacuum hoses. Here you can see it pretty good actually. Um, there's two bearings at one end and two bearings at the other end. That's on the bottom. However, on the top, I've got a little different thing going on here. Uh, there's no bearings at the ends, but then in the middle, you can see that I have used this extra piece um, fastened on there like that to make uh, a slide with bearings in the middle and that's important because um, as the the slide moves down you want basically a central point of contact if I had Actually, I did have bearings on the ends, but it would rock when the slide got close to the ends uh, for reasons that are a little too complicated to explain at the moment. Maybe I'll figure out a way to describe that situation. But anyways, and also, this pattern was used four times, two for the for the uh, y-axis slides and two for the um, as I already showed, two for the x-axis and I made two of these and then simply cut off this part right here so it was like that so I have a shorter version for the z-axis which is right there let me come around over this side there you can see it a little better all right so that slide is just a shorter version still made off the same pattern made two of those one for each side okay so that's the that's the roller slide pattern and uh, it's really the heart of the machine having these angled surfaces here and here to drill and tap a hole, put a bolt through and put a bearing mounted at an angle, having two of them like that, to ride on these surfaces which are a little bit rounded so it's really um, works even better than I ever dreamed. Um, so this is really the the soul of the machine is this casting right here, the slide. Uh, better than a maker slide in my opinion because these uni struts are steel all right super hard super tough they're not going to wear like uh, like an aluminum slide will all right so then next we have the uh, the gantry bracket I guess you would call it and uh, that is 
this part right here. It bolts the upper and lower rails for the uh, the x-axis slides on the gantry and you, you've seen that um, elsewhere in this video. So uh, and that has a little bit of tapered draft on this surface and on this surface but this here is square and this is square with this or it's supposed to be barring any inaccuracies in my construction of course okay and then we got this here and you know where those go that's the the side frames for the gantry the reason that roll of cable is there is because this machine is going to be 10 feet long it is now uh, about four feet with three feet of travel all right so those those side frames there's two of those one on each end of the, the x-axis and there's four more one at each corner holding the the y-axis strut and uh, a piece of strut here So one of those at every corner. And that also is drilled to accept this piece right here that holds the um, cable pulley mechanism. So that's that piece. All cast from that pattern. Now, you've probably seen these. Same idea, but those are actually just wood. I could have made them all out of aluminum, but I was in a hurry making my framework. So those down there are just wood painted with metallic paint, but they're just like this one. So I made lots of castings off of that, six of them. And then there's this piece, which is basically the same distance. And this is the X carriage frame. And it's kind of buried, you can hardly see it. It's this right here. And a whole bunch of things bolt onto that. The roller slides bolt onto it uh, right here. Z axis, uni struts bolt to it and it's it's kind of buried under there but that's that square big square piece and this is made of oh it looks like probably five sixteenths maybe three eighths plywood just some scrap that I had same same as this I should make those thicker They're actually quite tough when cast in aluminum, um, but they would be even tougher if that would be more like half inch. So anyways, 